announced on Monday, the Jersey government has extended an interim agreement for EU ships, particularly French boats, to fish in the waters around the island. The agreement had been set to expire on June 30 but EU ships will now be able to use the waters amid fears of a second blockade around the island. Talks will now continue to thrash out a permanent agreement but following the extension of the agreement, France's junior European minister, Clement Bone boasted of the huge win for the EU. He said, we're making progress. We will continue to defend our fishermen, their interests, the future of French fishing. Within the Tarde and Cooperation Agreement, French vessels are required to prove their historic use of the waters around the island in order to be granted access. Amid fears many French boats would be put out of business by the impending new rules, many surrounded the island's St. Helier port in order to pressure the local government and Westminster into backing down. Now French vessels will not be required to prove previous fishing history in the waters or the equipment they have used until the end of September. Such was the high alarm of the blockade both British and French Navy vessels were deployed to the island. Ian Gorst, Jersey's Minister for External Relations, said, the relationship with France is hugely important to Jersey in so many ways. We know aspects of that relationship have been difficult recently, but want to ensure we work through the issues, fulfilling the terms of the TCA and ensuring the sustainability of fishing in our waters.